by the time you watch this video, I will be back from vacation. Um, we are driving out to our favorite fall destination. And um, one of my tea friends on Instagram said that they love seeing things that tea people take on vacation with them. And I thought, well, I can go ahead and and do a video on that. I, I've done some other tea videos before, so you can check those out. Um, this one this time, because this trip is, um, it's not like a structured trip. We just really kind of decided we were going to just go ahead and go out and enjoy the, the fall leaves. And so I've just kind of thrown some stuff together that I'm going to take. There are some things that I always take with me. So first thing I always take with me when I'm traveling is my collapsible um, tea kettle. This one is from Gourmia. I used to travel with a larger, um, I think it was Hamilton Bell. It was an electric kettle. I think I got it for $20 off Amazon. Um, that was really nice and I liked it. It was larger and bulkier. And um, so this one's nice, it is plastic. It's a silicone, uh, which isn't ideal. However, for a week's time, I'm not so concerned with that. But it pops down like that. You've got a sturdy handle, you've got the cord and the power button. So, and this makes enough or heats up enough water really for two cups, two cups. So I always bring that with me. Next up, um, I do enjoy having my matcha daily. I have a number of devices that I'll use for matcha, whether it be a blender bottle, the David's Tea Matcha Maker, but I tend to travel with my steeped tea um, matcha maker. And I like it because it is measured on the inside. And this one, it's customized with my name and it's the coating's coming off, so I don't really mind if it gets beaten up, beat up. But it, it's insulated, so it doesn't sweat on the outside, and it'll keep the matcha nice and icy cold um, while I'm out walking around. It's not spill-proof per se, but it does, if, if it were accidentally tip over, it generally doesn't um, open up, so that's nice. I also have my Yeti. Um, this is a Yeti water bottle and I will use that for ice water when I'm out walking around and I have like a big um car carabiner clip I've got like a um oh, radio flyer it's like a pop-up wagon for the kids and so then I got that have that carabiner that like will hold that onto the side of the wagon when we're out hiking I have my David's tea press for iced tea and I love the the fall look of that one. Um, I also have my um, Adagio Toasty um, uh, <laughs> tea thermos for my hot tea. Right now, it's kind of like a weird time of the year where it will be 71 day and it could snow overnight uh, when you're in the mountains or it could be you know, 25 the next day, it's very difficult to predict the weather. So I like to just bring a variety of um, tea apparatuses, I suppose. And then in this bag, this is just a 31 shower bag, but I keep inside a variety of um, teas that I like to travel with. <laughs> and what I do generally when I get home, I don't take the stuff out. I just keep it in there. And then when I go, I just add to it the next time I go. So that's why there's a lot in here. I've just continually added to this. So in the front pocket, I have a variety of matchas. Um, I do travel with the pre-packed matchas. I find that to be the most convenient for me. And so I just have a variety of things in here. Got some motion matcha. I've got a bunch of bird and blend because they send me tea samples. I've got a bunch. 
some adagio uh, matchas. So these are really handy for travel, so I keep those in here. And then I also have a bunch of Kusa tea um, teas. I like these for iced teas. These are really quick, really easy, and I take the, what I do with these, um, I take these into restaurants. So that way when we're having dinner, um, I don't always want to spend, you know, four bucks on a drink or whatever. Um, and so I just get water and add one of these and have my own iced tea. Okie dokie. I also am spilling a bunch of tea bags here. I have some rock sugar that I just put in a baggie. And then these are some Tivana, it's Tivana Earl of Grey that I just stuck in some David's tea, tea bags. So I have those ready to go. I have a little tin of glitter and gold that I'm trying to use up from David's tea. And I have a bunch, these are these Twinings water, uh, Twinings infused water sachets. Um, I like those for my water, so I thought I could throw one of those into my Yeti. Um, I also have my straw that I am bringing. I have a um, collapsible infuser. The hotel we'll go to has some teacups, or they're coffee cups, but that'll fit right in. And then it's got the little, little dish here that you can set it on. So I've got that collapsible um, infuser. I have a bunch of the iced tea singles from David's Tea, Strawberry Rhubarb Parfait, Guava Cadabra, Coco Colada, Just Peachy. So I've got those in here. I have a teaspoon for, um, just in case I need it, I guess I have a couple loose sleep things in here. I have this David's Tea Travel Pouch from a couple years ago. So I've got a David's Tea sized spoon, some extra infusers, and then I have some teas. So it came with gaba guava, and I can use that for iced. And then I have some teas in here and I can't tell you what they are. I think one is chocolate orange from David's Tea but I have no idea what the other one is. It's been in there. Oh, this is, um, it smells like a chai of some sort, but I'm not sure which one, but the other is chocolate orange. So we've got that. Okay. And then up top here, I've got a bunch of tea bags. Um, I have some loose leaf too. So I have monkey chops from Bird and Blend. I have two teas from Cup of, Cup of Geek Teas, um, Hufflepuff House, and uh, Butter Beer. Uh, and then I have some Argo Tea Earl Grey Cream tea bags. Really just a variety of, of teas in here. Tons of just tea bags. I think there's some Celestial Seasonings tea bags. And some singles, um, Caribbean Crush of David's Tea for the tea press. Some Twinings Earl Grey Lavender. I just went through the cabinet and I throw a bunch of things in. Now with the concerns over tea bags, however, um, we'll kind of see. Um, I might have to just dump everything into infusers or use my um, the David's Tea tea bags that I know are are okay. Last thing, I have my <laughs> um, David's Tea. It's a matcha shot maker, but you can use this to froth your milk. And that's what I use it for, for travel. So that way, if I make like a latte in the evening, I can froth up my milk. Uh, but that is it. That's everything I'm bringing with me on vacation. So I thought you guys might like to see. Um, I think tea is such a massive part of my daily life that um you know when i travel i do like to bring what i like with me so i know that i'll have that available um but questions leave those below and as always thanks for watching